Hey guys, Glasgow here once again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video we are going to talk about um, some of the press testing yet again and how all this has been basic bullshit. Okay, here, here, here's number one. It's already been proven that over a majority of these protesters are being paid. So basically once you're being paid to protest, you're not a fucking protester. You have, you have no real um, reason to bitch. So, so this means nothing. All it is is for like some of the supporters, like it's been, and it's already been confirmed that George Soros is already paying for most of these people, and a couple other backers. They're you know, going through Black Lives Matter. Um, I can't remember the other ones are right at this moment. They're donating to them, and they're paying all these protesters. I mean, I mean, they're getting paid up to where the fifteen hundred bucks a week. So you know, maybe I, I couldn't blame them. I mean, Trump's not even elected president. And uh, take the oath of office yet, and yet he's already making a whole shit ton of jobs. Holy shit, that's good on his resume. So that's pretty fucking stupid, and you, and you make the reason why he got elected. We're sick of this shit. Um, then come find out a lot of them protesters they've arrested, especially in, like around Oregon, about 70% of all of them, the money they didn't vote, or, or aren't even from that damn region. So there again, you if you had a chance to vote, to pay change and sway the election, you d you gave up the right, so now you have no fucking right to bitch. Yeah, you know, and now you're protesting in an area where you have no reason to be, because you're not from that area. In fact, they've been caught multiple times busing these people in. So again, this is all propaganda, and of course the mainstream media is not going to fucking tell you this. Um, Fox might. Um, that's why you got to go right here on the on the internet to all the independents, because we're bringing it to you. You know, hey, I might not have a great big voice right now, but one day I will. But I want, and I want them to know that Glasgow said from the beginning, this is fucked up. And, you know, and, and I'm gonna take this from the other way. Even if, if say Trump lost, you know, even, even me being a supporter and this same shit was happening, I'd call bullshit on it because we ain't gonna do that shit. So all this liberal bullshit needs to stop. It's bull and I don't know why they're doing. It. They're not gonna get anything. All they're doing is actually making their shit worse. All this is going on with all, and all the bullshit the Democrats are doing, they're guaranteed to lose the fucking um, midterms now. I, I, especially since they can't make up their mind who their leaders are going to be. They haven't learned a fucking thing. I mean, I, 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 I'm serious. I would doubt they'd even make it by next year. Cause you, and again, the, all next year because in 20, of 2017 because they got to start running for 2016. For all them seats that are up. And they ain't gonna make it. This is how bad they are. And they already know it. And here's another thing about everyone saying, well, Hillary won the popular vote. Did she? Are we sure? Here's some interesting facts I've discovered looking up um, during the last day or so. And this is why I didn't make a video on this yesterday. Because um, I want to make sure I got some more facts. In. I have seen through a few things online and, of course, on here. Um, through multiple sources, and pretty good sources, that, uh, number one, she really didn't win, possibly win the popular vote after all. So that's going to give her some props. You know, it's like, hey, yeah, she, so what, doesn't matter about the popular vote, because of that coral college system, you know, trumps everything. And that's the way it's been for over 200 years. That's the way it is. So anyway, so now let's come to find out of the mass voter fraud that we already knew was going on. So this is no real big deal. Uh, with all this mass voter fraud going on, they've been able to narrow it down to several million votes. Um, I believe last estimate was uh, 7 million votes that, uh, of voter fraud. Um, and it, it could be more, just depends on how many people voted multiple times. Right now you have an estimated 3 million illegal aliens that voted. They're not allowed to vote, but they voted. Okay, so that's 3 million. I guarantee you they all went to fucking um, Clinton. They wouldn't even went for Trump. So there's three million off of her grand total. Okay, at this point in time, she only has, as of this recording, she only has like about a million, supposedly a million ahead of Trump. And that's kind of hard because you can't get exact figures for some reason. It's still kind of dodgy there. But anyway, so that's three million votes away. Then you have, they've estimated a total of about four million dead people that voted. And that are on the banks. And they've submitted votes. How the fuck are they voting? 
I guarantee you those fucking went to Hillary because they always seem to go to the Democrat that don't go really for the Republican. So if you knock all that seven million bucks, she got beat in the, in the popular vote too. She got beat by a landslide. She lost the electorate, the electoral college. She lost the uh, popular vote by deducting all that because those shouldn't have been voted anyway or counted. She lost the number of states that um, they won. Like I said, Trump won 29 to her uh, 21. So there's a state majority. She lost that. So she doesn't stand on there. And um, the battleground states, the 13 battleground states, he won 9 of them to her 4. So, what the fuck did she win? Nothing. The more you beat into this and protest, the more it looks worse for her. It wasn't bad, you know, now going through all this, think about it. It was bad enough she got trounced in Electoral College. She had the semi-saving grace as well, at least they won the popular vote. Well, now since everyone got right and pissed off, now I want to go look into the electoral vote and the, the votes cast. Okay, and then they're going to, holy shit, there's 7 million votes there that shouldn't be counted. So now she got her ass uh, deducting all those, even only saying, okay, say only half of them went for Trump, or only half those numbers are true. She still got trounced 7 million divided by 2 is 3.5 million. Okay, she just got trounced. If she's only hit by about a million votes, maybe 1.5, I'll give you, I'll even give her 2 million. Ahead. She still just got her ass beat. By dividing that in half, and she, she still lost by a million and a half votes. In the popular vote. And what else? Not just was that, but now we got, um, possibility of mass corruption. Big fucking surprise here in California. Like, that's a big fucking surprise. There have been now uh, reporting in that they're trying to figure it out by people. If 100% of the precinct has reported in, that's when there's only 70% of the vote available. If 100% of the people avail allow allowed to vote in there have reported and voted, how is there only 70% of the vote available? And, and in, my, in many of these counties that are in California, Trump, um, Clinton barely hold, held a massive size of the lead over Trump. So could it be that the rest of those votes were votes were uh, mysteriously um, came up missing? I'm probably sure they're probably fucking Trump ones too. So if then if you had those in, how much would he have won California? You know, you, you, and here's another thing that you bitch about the Electoral College. They've had for, dec for over a decade this fucking blue wall. You had Pennsylvania that usually ran blue, Michigan, Wisconsin, and fucking Minnesota. And um, all normally going fucking blue. He shattered that fucking blue wall. He took Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Minnesota was the only fucking thing that stayed around. And she barely held that. So she was fucked. It doesn't fucking matter. Any way you look at it, she lost. So get over yourself. And, and I'm not doing that to be mean. I'm just doing the safe facts. I would do the same thing if Trump lost. And it, like I said, if, if we supported for doing this, I'd say the same thing. Get over it. You lost. And I think mainstream media, and here's another thing, you better get out of your system, especially with the mainstream media, because once Trump becomes elected, this shit will stop. You won't put up with it. The mainstream media is bitching, moaning, and groaning right now. They didn't learn their lesson either. Oh, they're bitching. Well, Trump ain't telling us where he goes. They're bitching because he went out to fucking have a steak dinner and he didn't tell them. How fucking pitiful is that? So, fucks, this is just, just getting fucking out of hand. It's ridiculous. I can't wait for these fucking 60 days really to pass. Um... Because once Trump gets in there and this shit all goes goes to the wayside. It's ridiculous. I really can't can't uh, wait for this to happen and this all comes to an end. Oh, I'm sure for a few weeks to a month after this this shit will so go on after that it'll clamp down. They'll they'll fall in line. All this bitching moaning grand about the Democrats, no, that'll stop. They're gonna fall in line. They're not gonna have fucking choice. Not to expect to win um uh, twenty eighteen at all, or even have a chance at twenty twenty. 
Um, I don't think they're going to be that smart and figure that out, so you never know. Um, well, that does it for this video. i got a couple more to make today. Um, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.